Hi fellow beekeepers and especially those of you like myself who are recent or you're interested in the flow hive and flow frames. We're going to show you something, a little trick to make your flow frames especially much more initially attractive to bees. Um, and we're going to explain this process. It's very simple. Here we have a small mini crock pot with some melted beeswax and it's been heated up so it's all melted and we have a little pastry brush here uh, that we're going to use to basically paint the honeycomb on these flow frames with melted beeswax. Now the flow frames as you see here they're all plastic and uh, Kind of just like if you use plastic foundation, if it's not beeswax coated and it's just um, plastic, which like these are, they may not be initially very attractive to the bees. So I got the idea, how can I make this plastic flow frame initially more attractive to the bees? Well, I thought since your foundation, your, your plastic foundation is pretty much always universally coated with beeswax. And again, I think the reason they do that is it makes it more attractive to the bees to go up in there and draw the comb out and start storing honey in there, which is what you want with these plastic flow frames. Now, if you can see here, notice how the combs are all kind of tilted downward, just like a, a, a natural uh, honeycomb. So to put this in, you don't want to put it in with this side up. Uh, you don't want to flood or fill up these honeycomb with beeswax. You just want a coating, a light coating on the outside to make it more attractive to the bees. So what I'm going to do is turn these upside down. So now you should be able to see that the uh, angle of these combs are kind of upside down and the reason we're doing that is so the honey won't go and collect down in the bottom. We just want a light coating on here. So we're going to get some of our melted beeswax here and our pastry brush and with it turned upside down we're just going to give these a nice light coating of the melted beeswax. You don't want to put too much on here, just a light coating all around the part where the bees are going to be. Maybe a little bit here along the top. Here. Okay, so there's one side. Now we're going to flip it over. Do the same thing again, have it upside down and give this side a light coating of this melted beeswax. So instead of plain plastic, which probably initially is not going to be that attractive to the bees, and I know a lot of uh, beginning flow hive users have had trouble getting their bees up in the flow frames, at least initially. Because when the bees get in here, they actually go in and bring and put beeswax over everything. They, they get in and they use propolis to seal up some of the edges and things. But they, they get all the insides because um, on the inside of these flow frames, it's just the way they work and the way they're designed. They got little cracks in them. So the bees have to initially get in there and fill those in with beeswax and until they get it ready and as soon as there's a honey flow they will get out and start filling these with beeswax. Okay so we're done with this frame. We'll start on the next one. So we're going to go through each frame and give it a coat of uh, the melted beeswax, just a light coat. 
and you don't want your beeswax too hot that it could possibly warp or damage the plastic. All right, so now we're gonna pull out the last flow frame here, the last of the six, turning it upside down and start putting that nice light coating of beeswax on each side of these frames, just like we have be the previous ones. Okay, so we've done both sides of the last flow, flow frame and we're gonna put this back in. So now, all of these flow hive frames have been coated with beeswax. So this is all done. Now this is ready to go and put on a flow hive and it'll be ready for the bees. And I know from a previous hive, as soon as uh, within just a couple of days, as soon as I put this on top of the brood box above the queen excluder, the bees went almost immediately up in here and started investigating it. I think they were again attracted by the smell of the beeswax, something they're very familiar with, of course. And within a, f a few days, they were easily, they were going and working it. They were uh, propolizing all the little joints around the plastic, which they would normally do anything. They were kind of gluing these flow frames down with their bee glue. And then they were going into all the individual little cells within the honeycomb on both sides and doing what I ex previously explained. They were going in, putting wax in there, sealing all those up, getting them ready for honey to be put in. And then once the, a good honey flow starts, they go right into it immediately and use it. So anyway, that is probably a good way and a good suggestion to get the bees interested in your flow frames uh, right off the bat. And uh, you can find beeswax um, at beekeeping, a lot of beekeeping supply places. Um, they sell good beeswax. So that's a tip from the Honig Trail Apiary as far as making your flow hive frames much more attractive to the bees initially. Of course, once they get in there and start using them, they're going to be coated with beeswax and they'll start using those a lot faster. But initially, I think putting a, a light coating of beeswax, as we showed you, on these flow frames is a great way to get your bees up in there, get them interested, and get them working them, get them selling, uh, sealing up all the cracks uh, in the individual cells and making them ready. So once a good honey flow starts, they'll go right up in there without probably any hesitation at all. So again, they don't particularly like just plain plastic. So put a little coating of something they're familiar with, they like, beeswax, and I think you'll see a big difference. They'll go right, right up in here initially. So if you're having trouble getting your bees into your flow frames and not doing anything, get get a hold of some beeswax, melt it down, get your uh, a, a new uh, unused uh, brush. It could be a cheap paint brush. Make sure it's never been used in paint or anything like that before. I just simply have to happen to have this little uh, pastry brush here, and this is what I use. And it, it works great. So give that a try on any of your flow frame. And I think you'll find it makes a big difference as far as the bees getting up in there and working it and eventually getting in there quicker to store honey. So thanks for watching.